morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, we've got two ideas that are important themes for us going forward. Number one, we're looking at the United States retaining its position as the number one power in the world. We're going to retain this position for a number of reasons, but not least is that some of our competitors are going to have very hard times. The Chinese are about to have a very difficult decade or two because their system of state communism, uh, repression, and terror uh, is coming apart already. There have been, so I'm not even going to go back through my list of big uh, repressive events over the last eight or ten months. I'm not going to do any of that. Uh, I am simply going to point out that the amount of repression and the rate of repression will increase as more and more Chinese people want to be free. We've spoken several times about the number of Chinese who are already leaving the country, the number of Chinese who have sent their families abroad, because the combination of lawlessness and corruption is killing people, literally. And many people, as they make more money, are unwilling to stay in China and suffer. For those who do, revolution and similar kinds of behavior are the only way out. And I expect that, as always with the Chinese-style communist dictatorship, that they will begin to fall. And that party will begin to fall because the repression, the savage repression, has caused fear not only among the, I guess I would call them proletariat, I think that's what they call them still, but among the middle classes and the rising middle classes and the second and third generation of the wealthy. In other words, uh, the bourgeois in China are shifting more and more toward wanting a free state. And this is extremely dangerous for the Chinese party apparatus. They know that. Now, the, so, and the way they're responding is typical of a Stalinist communist approach. Namely, they are repressing more and more. Uh, I'm not going to go into my discussion of the 610 office or any of that stuff, but I want you to think about these things going forward into 2012 because bigger problems loom on the horizon for China. Now, of course, all these things have an economic impact as well. The economic impact is when you're losing talent and you've got a big real estate bubble, you've got a problem. And the Chinese have got an enormous problem without any of the structural systems in place to solve the problem. Their system is very design heavy and weak in implementation. That's why they have to steal stuff. Okay, they steal stuff from us, the Germans, the Japanese, the Koreans, anybody they can, because their whole system is based on stifling innovative thought. Secondly, as we look out going forward, we're seeing gold trading at 15 and a half or something like that this morning. Uh, we continue to trade gold very aggressively um, because we believe this choppy trade is very lucrative for our clients. Um, but if you're at home or if you're not professionally in the gold business, I encourage you to look for gold to be touching 1450 to 1460 and looking for the next big up move from there. I think this will happen in the next two or three weeks uh, because one of the factors in gold, and people, and I say this, and I encourage you to keep it in mind, is there's less gold available, and it's harder to get out of the ground. There's less gold available, and it's harder to getting get out of the ground. So ore is degrading, mines have to go deeper, more labor danger, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So gold is becoming more and more difficult to obtain. But we don't believe there's any significant increase in gold supply coming till 2016, 2017. So we encourage you to be thinking about gold in the short and intermediate term. And we are holding to our forecast for 2012 of 2450 per ounce in dollars. So aim for the ice flows, not the open water. America is the best country in the whole world. We're going to work our way out of these difficulties. We're the only country that can do that. So I'm very sanguine about the next 10 or 15 years being great for the USA. This is Arnie Waters. Thanks for watching. Have a happy new year.